welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, join our cult. And on welcome, as always, to the Cultaholic Video Podcast, which you can also enjoy on audio formats around the world. As always, the lovely Ross on wrestling. Thank you, Matthew, you delectable beast. And Jack on Jobber. Hello, Jack, Jack on Jobber. <laughs> Hello, you all right? I'm all right, man. I'm good. Good I'll dress stuff. up for the special occasion, the International Superstar Shake Cup. You are, lo- you are looking a bit. You've got that shot. end of the swanky bar with a grenadine and vodka look going on again. I'll yeah. take that as a compliment. <laughs> um, a waistcoat away from being Corey Graves. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like um, feels like it's been a busy week. Like the post WrestleMania fallout seems like it's gone on for an extra week with the Shake Up being a week after. Yeah, no, I don't feel like I'm back to normal yet again, like body yeah. clock wise and the, stuff. The WrestleMania hangover is still strong. Yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the news because there's a lot of it, and we'll be doing a double video this week. One talking about the usual crap we usually end up talking about. <laughs> that's this one. And it, yeah, yeah, Cheers, no, right, this is the right one. Watching, yeah. This is the and, crap one. Yeah, <laughs> and you won't be talking about in detail about our theories about what happened because of the superstar shakeup. Mm. But in relevant news, though, Luke Harper. Uh, put on Twitter, publicly requested his release from WWE. Please release me, let me go. I don't love you anymore. No! <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, it's what's going to happen, yeah. I think. Please, sir, can I... <laughs> no chance! No, no, no. Well, Big Dave's come out today and said his contract expires in November, so they're probably going to Neville him. Oh. oh. Well, he literally has just returned from injury. Yeah. Had that great match of uh, Dajakovic. Dajakovic. Yes. Have we all learned how to say that yeah. now? Because yeah. I certainly have. Should you say it on three? Twitter users haven't, though. <laughs> <laughs> Double D's a dick. <laughs> on three, we'll do Dijakovic. One, two, three. Dijakovic. Well done, Jack. Ah, Great timing, yeah, as always. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame. But makes sense. He is just another number. That he's another brick in the wall, as Pink Floyd said. Uh, for <laughs> That's specifically what it was about. To Luke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you're not familiar with Pink Floyd's work, <laughs> they were a big fan of the Wyatt family. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he's just another guy on a huge roster. After the Superstar Shake-Up, there was... Nothing for him. Yeah. I feel bad for him, though, because like, he gets going time and time again. He just gets injured, and then he just stops, and he has to go and recuperate and then come back. Like, yeah, he, he was icy champion when he, when he came back when he got jacked, and he was, like, maybe going to be in the WWE title picture, and then he got injured again. And then, yeah. Mm. Shame. I think he's very good. Nah, it's weird, though, because he went from being Brody Lee, the guy with the white, white sweats and jeans, to Luke Harper... Guy with the weight sweat in yeah. jeans and the so he's like, I have to go back. And I think the week like, you have to change your look because <laughs> like Honky Tonk Man had that. He said, uh, we said, no, you have to get rid of your Elvis attire and everything. He went, right, and he told someone, Bam and Bigelow went, yeah, they said I'd get rid of the tattoos on my head. <laughs> so, and then Alexander Wolf uh, from Sanity, in case you forgot about him, I don't blame you, uh, did a very interestingly worded message on Twitter as well saying goodbye to Sanity because Eric Young has been drafted to Raw. I thought so. he said he I thought but but yeah but goodbye WWE's right. hard to misinterpret. Mm. Yeah. Um I just think right what's the, I used to think people would overreact and I was they're like all these NXT call ups are getting wasted or whatever because I'm like well no like for every for every Success. There's a negative. Oh, like you know what I mean. Okay, it goes yeah. both ways. I was like, look at Bala Rollins. There's so many who've done well from it. And now I'm thinking, nah. Recently, it's all been crap. Like sanity have been wasted. Look at EC3 getting. I'm sure you're sad about that because he's your fave. He's or dead. One. EC3. You got Muhammad Hassan on Raw this week. Yeah, that is the term. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just like, and, and it seems like sanity are just another one of those who've been like, apart from Nikki Cross, who might still, you know, be able to. Yeah, because they purposely made sure she wasn't part of <laughs> that, and they've given her a push. Yeah. So they're like, oh, right, right, we're, we're not going to get that. So. Right. She's still doing more on YouTube than she is in WWE, though, which annoys me, or televised-wise, at least. Lucky. Well, I've seen that uh, tweet, I forget who she was chasing around the ring. <laughs> <Candace>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just leave, Just me, leave alone. me alone. <laughs> 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 I like when she jumped on Shelton's back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, Alexander, what are... Uh, do you think you'll go back to your favourite promotion, Dub X Dub? Well, they definitely embrace... What was that? X. Oh, yeah, that's what they do. That's what we do. They go, they go, <laughs> welcome and they go, X, X. And Willkommen. Yeah, his German's not very good over there. <laughs> you know, so they're going to replace him. Yeah, it, he made an appearance at 16 Carat. Right. To a deafening roar. Apparently so. Big Satan. Our friend. <coughs> I don't know why I said Oh, that. hail Satan. Not our friend. Right. <laughs> oh. He reckons he's going back to NXT. Our sources have told him he's going back to NXT. 
Oh. He'd be the first guy to go back to NXT if that happened. Not for like a one-off appearance yeah. like Tyler Breeze like or probably, whatever. Yeah. Or Scotty Too Hotty and Grandmaster Sexy. Right, right. Um, <laughs> that was yeah, exactly. Bizarre, that. They're on Thank the you. first takeover, weren't they? Yeah, or Rival, yeah. Oh. The fu- too uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They well, were on an NXT oh. show. They lost to the Ascension, I think. Oh, I'm except well, a few. <laughs> the longest... A few years later, Too Cool probably would have been joining beating them up. Yeah. <laughs> Still the longest reign in NXT Tag Team Champions, the, uh, the Ascension. They said the Revival then. I wish it was the Revival. Yeah. See, Sanity were former NXT Tag Team. You forget, like, you forget that they were popular and good. It's a shame. And I love Killian Daney's class. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to do now. That's it, Hopefully yeah. he gets a solo run, but I don't know. Hi. Uh, well, not with Lars Sullivan running around taking his spot. Mm. Um, Killian Dane's got the better Twitter, though. <laughs> and Sasha Banks. Jesus Christ. Sishy just... Bunks is going to happen. Sishy Bunks. In Sishy the Bunks? Impact Zone? What's Sishy Bunks doing in the Impact Zone? Do you oh, this? do you still do that joke? I brought it back. Just do it now. What was last time Impact signed someone from WWE? Exactly. Rich Swan, does that count? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Ratswin. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's his real name, I didn't care. Yeah. But yeah, Sasha Banks, uh, again, Hail Satan, uh, <laughs> was one of the people that started this, I think. So, I, and then quickly was... tried to go back on it. And oh, went, I people went, it nah, Sean, we saw you. Yeah. It was Sean Ross. To be fair, to be fair oh. his tweet, the Satan's tweet that you're referring to, <laughs> people are saying that he said that they were like on the locker room floor all night, but right. this picture came out during the main event, and they're like, oh, that can't be true. I don't think he said they were there all night. He no. said like, they're on the locker room floor for a bit. You can throw a tantrum in three seconds. I know you can. I was going to say, I think it's Wah! because we haven't seen that, but we've all seen a kid in a toy aisle go, I want it! <laughs> like, so that's the picture we put in our head. Yeah. So. Uh, well, yes, me and Pachi both interpreted it in different ways. So he assumed there was like limb flailing on the floor, like actual right. tantrum stuff going on. I just assumed they were just sat there because you know when wrestlers are unhappy, it doesn't tend to be as big and dramatic as that. It's normally a little bit like sort of snidey. They were, I imagine they were just yeah. sat there on the floor. I reckon they were just laid out in a very awkward position in the locker room going yeah. like, we shall not be oh, moved. I'm not sure if she'll be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Do you think it was like, she wanted to do the Tama Tonga thing and just launch the belt across <laughs> the But she went, oh, lost, right. <laughs> Look at this garbage. Yeah. <laughs> it's get that so women's dumb. tag title out here. No one cares about I've, li- I've watched it so many times since. And you hear it hit the wall on the floor. It goes uh, like... <laughs> it is a loud noise as well. So, so good. Hole in the wall. Yeah. Right. So, win. and it is interesting seeing how people react to Sasha Banks complaining about, well, you know, I was at one point very, very popular. Now I'm just popular. You know, bubbling under at certain mm. thing, and contrasting this with like when Neville was, God, no, I'm not freaking losing to Enzo. <laughs> you know, no, it's like it's like, oh no no, we get Neville, we like him. Boo, we don't like Enzo, or whatever. Sasha Banks, I, I think I should be doing better. I've got crowd reactions. Sasha should stop complaining. I know. She's I, I think that's bollocks wow. I'm on it, Sasha's side. Yeah, I think. if she wants to do more, let her do. Yeah. Wait, good on her. I mean, she's class, and charismatic and all that and she's got a big following and and she's been she's had so many bad storylines put on her like the whole bailey thing like with the counseling. all of last year yeah or like and it only got good again once they put her in that match with ronda because i think because that was a match that ronda wanted i think she requested it maybe yeah mm. yeah uh, or was that just storyline was I that real storyline okay but it, but everyone remembered oh sasha's actually really good yep and then they went back to the uh, and then they gave them the belts and then they went actually nah and i got grief right on oh, the reactions on. video for being the only one who was sad when the Iconics won. Like, oh, you deserve that. Why? Because they're why? fantastic. No, they are good. They are good. I just wanted that. I just wanted that long reign from Bailey and Sasha Sissy Bunks going NXT. See, I reckon that's where it all stems from. I reckon they've been given assurances. Me and me hack mm. brain. Mm. Me hack mm. brain. Nothing has come to the right. conclusion. Brain hack. That they've been uh, when they brought these titles in. Like obviously said, we're going to defend them here, there, everywhere. They've probably been told yeah. that, and then all of a sudden. No. Yeah. Okay. Why am I not getting the run of the title? I'm really popular. No, no. We're saving you for the women's tag titles. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah. You you're losing the uh, iconics. You're losing the funny ones. Ha. Huh? Yeah. You're ones who are over for their interviews. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. They are better talkers than Sasha and Bailey. To, yeah. to be very fair. To be, I, oh, I well, was getting sick of Sasha and Bailey going like, "Oh, we fight for these forever." Oh, oh it was it's like the same every week. It's like we well, you know, man. We get the idea now. In fact, right. I'm glad she's being buried. No. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> Screw you. No. Uh, do we reportedly sign Undertaker to New Deal to prevent appearance bookings? Um, oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we think that might be real, given oh, man. Big Ken. I feel so sorry for. I feel bad for him as well. 
I... He would have bent arse over backwards to get Undertaker over here. Yeah. And he's had half of his show taken away. He is still getting Undertaker over here. Yeah, he's still doing the meet and greet, but he's yeah. not allowed to do the Q&A bit. But as, you, you can get him to sign something, but as soon as they say, so what we... Next. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk to you. <laughs> to, like, um... switch off and go back on, he's just gone. He's underneath the table. I'm imagining him having Foley as, like, a ventriloquist. <laughs> just getting him to talk for him. Like a what? Oh, no. <laughs> So Undertaker, what was Hell in a Cell like? Well, I tell you, it was really oh, scary All right, you're doing, you're doing my voice, apparently, not yeah. Mick Foley's. Are they going to go like... Ah, That's the only thing. That was a dead-on Mick Foley. No, it wasn't. Mick Foley's not from Jarrow. You don't know that. All right. One of his right. personas is. <laughs> I've seen him down the bottom. Jarrow Love. Down the bottom of Valley View Park. Exactly. exactly. Bushes. <laughs> Would you hey. like some white lightning there? See? Why is he joining? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Nia Jax's knees. Nia Jax, way. Well, again, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell the Jordi off. <laughs> Nia Jax, uh. Uh, knees capitulate. I've not heard about this actually. Mm. Both knees are gone. She's going to be out for a while. Oh, yeah, it's sad. That makes some sense. Why they didn't win the titles at WrestleMania? Then. Oh, I just think they're not very good tag team. Yeah, but, yeah I think oh. they're crap, aren't they? Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 kind of feuding with them. All right, yeah, whatever, the crap. No, but I, I hope she recovers fast because it sounds like she's getting surgery on both knees. It was, it, was it MCL or ACL? The, the, the big one in your knee, they're both gone. Oh, wow. wow. Both of them. I, just I think. That, that, that much news, I've not heard about that. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, that is sad. It is sad. Mm. Never like to see Because it means we're getting Tamina Snooker in singles oh, matches. Matthew, Tamina gets Tamina. A, bad, a bad rap. For good reason. <laughs> no, it's not. How are we having like Sasha Banks? All right. Body to split on that. Tamina. Oh, she tries her best. She was the next big thing in May 2010. Mm. She was part of. Was she part? Of, was she the third one in Team Bad? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. She, she was the bad, beautiful and oh, dangerous. She was like, no, oh, she it. was the eye. <laughs> <laughs> AEW sign Seema and Darby Allen. Oh, yes. two matches added to Fight for the Fallen. Yeah. It was fallen like. It was. That's who have fighted. No, no, he's take off the card and he's the fallen. No, there's like a serious answer. You're gonna feel bad now. Yeah. Do you remember that shooting in Jacksonville? The proceeds are going oh, to that. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I know. It's all right. I think it was at an esports tournament or something. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. What so mean, that's I know. they're doing it in Jacksonville yeah. for uh, the, like half the ticket money is gonna to go to like oh, gun crime. God, or that's really nice. That. Yeah, that's Jesus. really good. Yeah. I should get like the full list of stuff. I'm not taking the bit. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry. I've never known oh, that. Oh, you didn't know. That's all right. Uh, Road Dog stepping down for that joke I just made, and. That's interesting. Mm. Any reason why? Apparently he was just fed up of Vince McMahon, just like taking his SmackDown scripts and going, no, for the third time in this podcast yeah. already. But Road Dog of everyone should know that, that's you know, what happens, that's, yeah. what, that's, the, that's a good thing. That's what you signed up for. Yeah. That's what Brucey Pritchard always says. Mm. Brucey Pritchard. Yeah. One, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's weird because Road Dog used to get a lot of crap when SmackDown was bad, but now it's good. Now he's left. <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. <laughs> To be fair, he was still there when it was getting good and mm. beating, like, handsomely trashing Raw every week. Yeah. So, I feel he gets a bad rap just because he said that thing on Twitter once, isn't it? He? he just keeps going for it and say, like, no, you're wrong, pal. Mm. Yeah. You're definitely wrong on that you, one. You can't respond to everybody on Twitter. <laughs> unless you're Brian Zane, which you just do it every time. Uh, boy arrested for RKO and Crocodile. Right. Well, this has got to be the last news story of the frigging thing because so, that's going to top this. A little while ago... Uh, we did a news story on, uh, it was via the Miami Herald, I believe, right? There's a schoolboy in Miami who, a video went up of him trying to RKO his head teacher at school and getting arrested for it, right? Trying. Yeah, now, you think from that... Oh, did the, kid, you, did the teacher, you, like, be Mark Henry? Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think from the, just that title that he took a run-up down the corridor, yanked him down by the neck, he walks up to him and goes... RKO and barely touches him with one hand and the principal just goes come here and just like pushes him against a wall and the kid got arrested of course he did yeah America good for, good for the principal no, no. jobs worth he should have well, no he should have well, put no, his hands on no, you and should no, be like oh. put his hands on him it was absolutely the teacher should have taken the bump on his knees <laughs> like Kane we were about he, did, he barely touches him. He goes, oh, okay. Barely touching him like, is the same as touching like him. I, ah, uh, I, ah, uh, I, uh, that can't be Are you joking? Right, I'm, I'm really annoyed. Cause Principal's got to, like, establish authority yeah, on yeah, the kids got a, Yeah, he should have got a detention. He should have just arrested. laughed it off. He should have got Jobs a, worth, he bastard. If he'd given him a detention for messing up. All right, maybe you're right. Okay, calling the police and getting arrested is too much. Apparently trying to press charges. Don't be like, oh, the poor guy. I'm like, well. So anyway, the kids. Give RKO your So anyway, now the kids, the kids also been arrested again for RKO in a fake alligator shopping centre. He's Serial RKO. <laughs> this kid's got problems. It's so good. It's so good. But the thing is, the crocodile one happened before the teacher one. So yeah. he's done this crocodile. 
So he's gone into a shop. Honestly, and wait, wait, did the alligator call the police? <laughs> <laughs> it's like making a murderer. Different things come out at different times. I, I can't believe it. Can't wait. He's got a computer full of crocodile porn. <laughs> <laughs> so what was on the computer? I don't want to talk about it. He's uh, from Miami. Oh, is that a reference to something? Sorry, Sorry. That, that was the McCann documentary. Oh. The almost award-winning documentary. Oh, I've not watched it. Apparently goes on a bit. Yeah, yeah. It, it shouldn't be as long as it is. Is that why I didn't still, get into the Hall of Fame? Yeah, yeah. yeah probably. Because people think McCann's and don't always laugh like me. But Oh, no, a serious news story. So, yeah, so... Wait, okay. Boy arrested for arguing... So it was a fake crocodile, I take it. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. In a shopping centre. You see him, he's right. got his top off. He just chucks it, like, and then jumps down. Does a bit of an elbow drop into this, like indoor like pond in the shopping center and then RKO's it and pins it. See, this is the problem of like social media now. I'm pretty sure I've done a lot of dumb stuff as a kid. Right. None of it's online. Right. That's what you say. None of it's there. We were like... saying before, you just do it, just don't get caught. <laughs> or film it or like contact the Miami <laughs> Herald beforehand so a news team comes down to how see can, it. How can like Avril Lavigne and her band get away with that in like the video for Complicated? They commit so many felonies in that shopping centre, right? <laughs> I love and that bit where she gives a uh, choke slam to an alligator. <laughs> no, but they like, did they run around the escalators and that? Hee hee hee. Well, chill out. What are you yelling for? You know. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, it's a great song. Like that. I don't get you. You don't like uh, complicated. No, you don't point. like compli that's complicated. Come on. Hey, hey, you, you old dance tea. Complicated is just like... Yeah. Boyfriend. That's a step down from complicated. Yeah, complicated is the best. Yeah, it's the best way. Nah, skater boy up here. Let's go deeper. I miss you. Fantastic ballad. <laughs> it's a bit emo. I don't even know that one. What's the other one? Was that Avril Lavigne 1 or Avril Lavigne 2? Is that it? Oh, yeah. So much for my happy ending. There's another one. So much for my happy... I don't know why I did Tom DeLonge what? there, but yeah, yeah. I don't even know who that This is. was after she died, though. Oh, yeah. I replaced. I so this was that. solid Avril Lavigne, not liquid Avril Lavigne. <laughs> this was one. like, yeah, this was brunette Avril Lavigne. Ah. Who wasn't married to the guy from Nickelback. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have been following the new era of... Uh, of Avril. Yeah, the HD era of Avril. <laughs> this is a great uh, wrestling podcast. We'll move on to wrestling right now. I think everyone would like us to talk more about Avril. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Now it's time for everyone's favourite segment, the Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. Yeah! And mm. in descending order, which is last place first, Tama Tonga, my vote, 39 votes. Oh, last place got 39. That's pretty... Got a lot of votes this yeah. week. Yeah, a strong week. Blind Orton for... What? what oh, yeah, when he shielded his eyes from the Oh, right, 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 yeah. 43 votes. Oh. But can you believe it? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? It yeah. happened. It happened. Dash Wilder punching out... Oh, yes. Little Bret Hart attacker. 87 votes. The winner. Get in. As always. Shock. <laughs> to be fair... <coughs> There was only ever going to be one winner when you get Dash Wilder I, in the mix. That's it, man. Like, I mean, we feel... I don't know how the, the golfers who played against Tiger Woods feel. It's like, yeah. we're never going to beat him, but let's see who comes second. <laughs> so, And you won this week. So last, uh, yeah, this week, technically. So what's uh, your pick for next week? Uh, Avril Levine. Damn it, I was going to... I was yeah. literally going <laughs> to... Oh, man. Oh, no, no, but he could do Avril Levine 1. <laughs> Why not? I'll do... do Avril Levine, like, like uh, complicated skater boy era. Oh, Up until about 2006, that's wow. where I cut off. Are you then... even going to say nothing, then? I have to think of a different one. <laughs> I don't want to put in... The clone. Blonde Avril Levine. Oh. Uh, I until so she was why... completely murdered. Yeah. Because there's you... so many banger after banger yeah, after banger Matthew great. in that era. It's great. I think we just named all of them, didn't Aye, we? I think so. Um, Let us know if you missed any in the comments below. You it's hey, a hey, you, you, you? cold night. That one is all. Oh, yeah, yes. Um, I'm, I'm, is it, I don't know who you are. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I yeah, don't know who you are, but I'm with you. Yeah. No. And then she what's gets, this, what's she this gets, Lana on Snapchat? Then she gets... Ooh, she gets a Ooh, bit of, yeah. It wasn't her. She got hacked, I. But I, she gets a bit of the end of that song when she, she lets out one of the most amazing yous in the history of music. Yeah, she's great. It has so many different what? parts. Oh, quickly followed by Soldier Boy, run the <laughs> <laughs> What? You! Oh, no, my God. God. <laughs> it's been a long time oh, since I've heard that one. Oh, I love a bit of Soldier Boy. Yes. Oh. Aye, but this one's like, yo! <laughs> Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, so white. That was so my. Like, I was gonna say. Uh, I think his stock just went down over one percent. <laughs> that was my like high school prom. That was the tune. That what was the hip hop tune at the time. Boy. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'll <never> forget. Ross is from Morbeth. 
Right, just imagine. I don't know what. They all get their big lighters out. A few hundred people, I guess. I don't know how many people in my school, yeah. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> on the dance floor in this bar, right? I don't know what bar. It was in St. James's Park. Doing that that thing. Like Crack all the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that song that came out like a few years before at the bloody oh, Cha Cha Slide? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that we had that slide. Everyone, to the right. Yeah. Slide the left. So imagine crisscross, da, da, da. crisscross, da, da. yes. Cha cha, real slow. No one knows what to do. Ding, 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 I had that. <laughs> but imagine Wait. that formation, but with Soldier Boy, it was quite a sight to see. We honestly, oh, pretty, all right, I remember we went on a school trip once to Jarrah Fire Station, right? Well, you know, when you're in primary school, you go to the fire yeah. station, you learn how fire safety works, and all this that. Is the horse. Um, but there was also, oh no, was it the fire station trip? It was some sort of trip we were learning about. Maybe it was to the police or something. Learning about one of the emergency services, right? Police were like, different RKO, your teacher. <laughs> and one of them was about the dangers of, like, basically, like, stranger danger type stuff, right? Oh, yeah. So there's a class of us, but they got, we got split into little groups to be taken around this place. And, and there was, so there was, like, ten of us in this one group. And they're like, right, everyone line up. We're going to do the cha-cha slide. And we're all just like, so they're doing the cha-cha slide, right, little kids. And then two girls come in our age. But it's obvious, because we're all in uniforms, and they're not, that these are not part of our group, and we've never met them before. They start going around going, like, do you want a smith? Do you want a sweet? And they've got, like, smints or something, or, like, Tic Tacs in their hand. And you're like, and the point is, you've got to be like, no, stranger danger, oh. don't take the drug. But that's my memory of the Charger Slides, just these two random lasses. Like, and they expected, like, us to, it was, they worked us, basically. As what? Well. See, that was bugged me when you grow up, because near drug dealers, like, hey, do you want some? They're like, yeah, can I have some money, please? I wouldn't like, know, Matthew. Oh. Well, that, that, that <laughs> policeman did his job, didn't he? Well, transactions are always swift, aren't they, in that sort of game? <laughs> yeah. What drug dealers are for drugs? Do you charge or slide? Slide the left. Slide the left. No, come back. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Dude. No one knows what to do. Pass it over mid slide. <laughs> <laughs> come back with me, change. Slide the left. Okay, so you get bad Avril Lavigne. Oh, do you want to charge or slide? I'm going to go for early pink. Yeah. Oh, well, Don't let me get me, Yura. Uh, like you don't let me get me is my favorite pink. So that's class. Oh, oh, big good. song. That. Uh, just like a pill that you've been offered during the charge slide. <laughs> um, <laughs> that you do not take. Is that what shouts <laughs> talk- Is that about ecstasy? Is it that song? The charge slide. No, 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 no. Just she's like, a, just she's like a pill. She's comparing. <laughs> that's about LSD. No, that she, she's comparing a boyfriend or whatever, a bad partner, to drugs. Or well, to like instead of making me better, you keep making me ill. Yeah. Probably like. I thought it was about a guy. Yeah. Probably like meds. I don't know. P- early, early pink. Oh, see, I prefer stupid girl. Era. Okay, so fair enough. That's not my vote. I'm just voicing my opinion. She seems like reason. a fantastic woman. A fantastic woman. She seems like a fantastic woman. Very talented. Just Proper. didn't compare it to Britney right. Spears, man. She's not like that. She's no. just different. That, uh, yeah, that's completely different. Yeah, no. it's one of the lyrics in the, the song. Lyrics from the song. <laughs> She's crazy. She's so pretty. That just ain't me. Yeah. Boom. yeah. Uh, I ain't Britney. Bom bom. Is that from... Oh, God, she's always taking shots at Britney, isn't yeah. she? You nominate Britney, I'll <laughs> just have a bit. Nah, because we're like, <coughs> I am going to bring this wrestling podcast <laughs> back on track. This is my job. Kid Like Us. Oh, yeah, very fair. Bless him. Yeah, to completely ruin the mood of all this, it's like, now the serious face. Kid Like Us, uh, bless him, is apparently retiring. I don't know what that means in wrestling, but it might be serious for him because... His friggin' body's had ma- more hits than Pink and Avril put together, bless him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so he's, yeah, he's hanging up his mask at the age of 22. Oh, is he that young? Yeah. Jesus. That is very young, isn't it? That's really sad. So. Hopefully he can still be involved in wrestling. Because Sam yeah. was saying off camera, like, he's funny when he's in CCK and that, isn't he? Like, well, especially healing it up. Yeah. So maybe he could, like, be a manager. So hopefully he could still be involved in wrestling. Yeah. I mean, he did kid Smallman. He's doing progress in the suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, <coughs> I mean, after I have to fix the mask, it's like, for you, like Kenny from South Park. But once I get outside, I'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, had so many great matches with uh, Aussie Open, yeah. Grizzled Young Vets, when they beat British Strong Style for the titles at Progress. So yeah. at least it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a legacy to leave behind. It's not like, ah, oh, I had a bunch of crap matches. No, they were all mint with Brooks. And he was really unique. Like, I can't think of anyone else in the UK who did the mask thing like him. You know what I mean? Like you looked, Aguero, you, you, you mean? Or? No, but like you can look at Lycos and be like, that's Kid Lycos straight away. Crater. Crater is one, yes, to be fair, very <laughs> similar. <laughs> also, just a really nice lad as well. Like, I've met him twice, I think, both times. Really lovely. Really nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Oh, well, so on that 
crap. Oh well, crap. No, uh, no. upsetting way to end the Hall of if Fame. If Pink or Avril wins now, then it's their f- and then it's terrible and it's their fault. <laughs> yeah. Someone's at, the door. Someone's at the door. Oh. So please cast your votes to the Hall of Fame. You can either pick Avril Lavigne uh, in brackets. Up till about 2006. There you go. <laughs> when so she was killed. Version one. Um, pink, post R&B era, because she started off as like an R&B singer, sort of. Weird. But what, before? But just before started. Party started, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, so, like, version so I'm two. going like, yeah. Like, no, that was more like the prototype Pink. So this pink is more like John Pink this two is more like, Sons of Liberty. This is more like Pink of Thugonomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> uh, or... Or oh, kid like us, a wrestler, <laughs> an actual wrestler, a wrestler <laughs> who probably does listen to Pink and or Avril Lavigne. Who doesn't? Yeah. He might be too young. Oh God, you're right. Yeah. Dreadful. Oh yeah, twenty. He'll know Avril Lavigne is like oh the last who's married to Chad Kroger. Yeah. Oh, that's a sad the last boy, who isn't did it? Hello Kitty. That song was absolutely disgusting. Hello. Have you oh no, that's not called? Hey Hey You You. No, that's... no, it's like. <laughs> wow! It was like that. <laughs> what a great song! Yeah, it was the, I couldn't remember any of the words. Do you remember "Hey Hey You You" when the other man Now Dog did that? It got either got hacked or was April Fools, where all the all the pages of the website got changed to the like a dancing pony. Just hey hey you. you. <laughs> I just remembered that she plays the girlfriend and herself in that music video as well. Wow, that's blowing my mind. That Avril's got to win. No, Lycos has got to win. <laughs> We're talking about. So, if you like to look for any of these prestigious things for the uh, oh it's not there anymore Hall of Fame that we'll put on screen please go to patreon.com forward slash colorholic and give us your votes and money and now ladies and gentlemen the Raw and Smackdown recap and as we move even further away from wrestling to (laughs) Raw which I believe was Errol Levine's first album major release with EMI Uh, The Miz confronted Shane McMahon Miz has been drafted every single time since 2016 that's how he stays so fresh. Every single time. They just the other brand always sees him doing good work on the other brand and goes, fancy a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. Who was making the calls this time around then? Like who who was picking the superstars to get drafted? I thought they would have brought back the randomizer thing. I I like the randomizer yeah. thing. But yeah, you're right, because they were surprised when Miss showed up. But they're the ones running the brands. Right. We'll get on to SmackDown Maybe. later, though. And yeah. Vince is like, here is my announced biggest acquisition ever, Elias. But who's acquired him? Yeah. And then Roman's like, no, I'm here now, so I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. But Vince is like, no, I made the announcement to make yeah. the announcement. It's Elias. No, it's not. It's Ro- wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's really wait, <laughs> the board of directors are back. <laughs> God, I love the movie. So, yeah, Miz came out, managed to bleed. Me. Oh, my God. Shane needs to stop punching people in the head. <laughs> Genuinely. I said this on my video this week, and apparently it was uh, Miz caught himself in the face with a chair, oh, which I refuse to believe, because it's Shane McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> well said, he, was, t- he was twatting him in the head. Yeah. Like, proper, in the head. He was actually punching twatting him. Twatting him. Twat! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Someone um, from, from Poland came up to Newcastle to hang out with us, basically, and sponge other people like us, and he was talking about how much he likes you, because apparently you did, like, a four minute or six minute rant like an eight minute video about Shane McMahon oh yeah I do all the time <laughs> <laughs> I've just, this every video I've just, just re- recently today, got bro. closure because like for so long he was booked at this, as this baby face but he's been the biggest heel ever but now yeah. he's a heel it all makes sense the crap punches everything it just makes sense yeah. I've got closure yeah. I feel so refreshed but the so weight cool. is off my shoulders in life it was just so cool to see somebody be like oh I love Ross like like it's it, his citizen Kane was the <laughs> <laughs> his live at Melbourne was the friggin <laughs> six minute tirade of Shane McMahon. It was just like oh so beautiful. Uh, and you see tag team champions, Bear was here. The Viking experience. The Viking <laughs> experience. Get in because when people wrestle them, they won't be having a wrestling experience. They'll be having a Viking experience. That's exactly I'm, what they're going to say backstage the on the Viking. mic. Oh, God, I'm just waiting for when Michael Cole goes. And <laughs> now it's the... Oh, I don't know. I don't it's know. Viking time. <laughs> I hate wrestlers, right? Welcome hate... to the Viking experience, guys. Are you ready to get raped and pillaged? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. This is a man. God damn it, Cole. Don't say that. It's horrible. <laughs> I hate wrestlers, right? Old wrestlers. I, I hope hate, someone cuts that out. Yeah, we can 
you want to, yeah. <laughs> no, not even that. I mean, oh, right. you, you saying I hate wrestlers. That's going to be on da- uh, diddlers of colorholic. Or that <laughs> there can be a, right, there can be a cup pot. Right, okay. <laughs> I don't know if we want to keep it in or just whatever. <laughs> That's what Vikings did. I know they do. But you <laughs> they can't say not the, do. You can't say the R word. You can't. What, wrestling? That's right. Oh, right sorry, uh, Vince. I'll start again, sorry. Sorry. Um, right. I think it should stay in. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, I, I actually hate wrestlers, right? Old, yeah. old wrestlers. Because this has happened, right? Glad to go off the chair. And the Viking experience, right? It was it, As soon as it happened on Raw Twitter, it just lit up. Everyone was just... Every, as Brandon Stroud said... Everyone was collectively dunking on this name change, right? <laughs> and I was just like, it was hilarious. I feel bad for them, for the lads themselves. But then you've got, I can't remember who it was. Was it Road Dog? Someone came out on Twitter and went Foley like... Foley and Road Dog went back to back and forth, didn't they? Yeah. yeah the guy that runs Foley's uh, huh. Facebook account was uh, not happy but with were, the fans. They were all like, well, you never... Like, Foley was like, oh, well, I don't think that mankind would have got over in the age of social media, but everyone forgets and that. I'm just like, no, like, can you not just leave us alone for once? Because we're the fans. We tell you what's good or not. Yeah. We right? make videos criticising no, no, you. You I don't do no, it to I us. Mean, I didn't mean we as... Our <laughs> lives are no. fulfilled, for Christ's sake, Sammy <laughs> Zane. I'm not pathetic, but <laughs> Sammy. Yeah, <laughs> we live by curiosity <laughs> through you guys. Don't do it the way around. I didn't mean, I didn't mean us as in cold or holly. I didn't mean... Oh. Like, I meant wrestling fans, right? Why? Why are we so? Why do we get like attacked every time we say something's bad, and the wrestlers go, "I think you'll find it's not bad. Actually, it's good. So shut up." What other medium of entertainment does that? The Viking Experience is a crap name, and you should be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like that you you like it's no longer the melts. It's the oh Brandon Stroud said this. It's like, <laughs> he's the only hipsters read the Wrestling honestly, Observer live. That rant, and that's what you took away from it, yeah. <laughs> Brandon Stroud. But people were quick to point out, probably people like Brandon Stroud would point out, like mankind. Got his name changed from Mankind the Mutilator. It was oh, not Mankind the Mutilator. Was sorry, it was uh, um, bloody was it Morris, isn't it? No, um, Some people young Oh, Mason, Ma- Mason, yeah, Mason the Mutilator. And again, so Mason the Mutilator came out. He's, there's no way he's getting a King Ring '98. No, mm. he was throwing himself off the cell in front <laughs> on a house show. Uh, and Austin was going to be Chili McFreeze at one point. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you're allowed to you know, whatever. But it is with the the hate people have because. You can just say, oh, fans think this, because every fan has a Twitter. So there's good fans and there's bad yeah, fans. Yeah, true. So if you think about all of them, your head's going to spin. And I did but like. I was, I was thinking, <coughs> though, do you reckon they just went along with it and just said, yeah, that's all right, that? Well, the, the lad. The yeah, just, Eric hello, and Cody. Like, Eric and Eva. That's what I mean, because like, cause for so long, this walking on eggshells backstage has been a big narrative pushed from WWE. But now, surely it's changing. And they could have just gone, it's crap, this. It was a Vince idea, though, <clears> directly from Vince. Yeah. Well, they can't walk on eggshells because it's also walking on eggshells and Sasha Banks, who's on the floor, complaining. <laughs> oh, um, uh, sorry, Sasha. Sorry. Also but, annoyingly. Um, and also, I've got to get this out. Wrestling with Cop, right? Wrestling Val Context. That's right. Got the Twitter name right. Called, um, we'll be shouting out them. our favourite Twitter accounts, are we? Yeah, we are. Ah. Um, is, <laughs> rename them the Pillage People. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh god! But the annoying thing as well is that they didn't even bring up. I hate how the, I hate the disconnect between NXT and WWE. Like, so I, like I saw Wolf. a Reddit comment on Squared Circle that was like, "Does Vince realize that he also owns NXT? <laughs> like, he doesn't have to change the names and he doesn't have to cut off the storylines and stuff." They they came up without their belts, and it's just like, well, why? Why n- why not have the NXT belts with them? Yeah, show them off a bit. Yeah, because I don't read NXT spoilers, so I was kind of like, "Oh, they don't have the tag titles with them." I'm like, "Oh well, cheers." They were on last night, weren't they? On last night's episode? No, they were there, yeah. aye, but they, were there? they didn't do out. I've not seen it yet. They are still champions. That's yeah, just, that's what I mean, yeah, but obviously they pre tape so... Yeah. That's okay, the biggest go, 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 issue go. for me, though, like the disconnect between NXT and the main roster yeah. still when this is the third brand, apparently, that like they keep saying. <coughs> just a load of bollocks. What was even weirder was they had uh, these guys come out and they had the raw font, or Karen, whatever you want to call it, but then they didn't say, oh, they haven't left, possibly, I'm like... Well, I've got the friggin' thing. And then it was never mentioned again of where they were going. Right. So it, it's just, they were just appearing. Oh. So that, that bothered me more. On the Superstar Shake Up, they had uh, the Viking experience come out. Do not say, all right, they were, look really cool. All right, back to NXT. Also, the heels on the main roster? Yeah. And the faces in NXT? Because they were on the heel side of this eight man. Were they? Yeah, they were with the uh, I don't think that. I don't think people were thinking about that too much. People were just cheering for them anyway because they were amazing looking. And the crowd here for and on SmackDown were great. Oh, the crowd yeah. were class, um, except for Bailey. That yeah. she oh, got, we'll she get to that. Oh, my God. Apparently, there's a reason that Montreal just hate her. 
People, oh. I, I said to me videos this week, I was like, why, why did she get that reaction? Just said all the comments, and not just, it's Montreal, it's what they do. But nobody actually said why. <laughs> so if you can let me know why, <laughs> we'll unravel this mystery a bit further. Well, kind of just had that Bizarro Land thing going for a while. But Thank God they didn't settled. say that. Yeah. They didn't say it this week. They cheer mean? who they boo and boo who they... There was a yeah. sign in the crowd that said, I, I, oh, I yeah. cheer who I normally... Oh, I boo who I normally boo yeah. from. <laughs> that was nice. <coughs> but uh, I mean, back to this. Yeah, it was uh, the best match involving the Raw Tag Team Champions getting pinned since last time. Oh. Uh, Andrade defeated IC champion Finn Balor. Yeah. yeah. Balor put in a shift this week on both shows. Fair play to him. He did, I. Uh, uh, and again, the champion taking the pin. But... I didn't mind this one. Yeah, normally I'm like, oh, the champion shouldn't lose too often in non-title stuff. But I didn't mind too much because I think that it was important for Andrade to look strong at the start. Yeah, I think that's what we're going yeah. for. And the split gonna... him and Charlotte up, though. Yeah, that's very sad. Oh, yeah. I think they were the only couple to get split up on the... Oh. But in doing so, Vega and Alistair Black are now together. On oh, the... well, oh. there you go. Every cloud has a silver lining. Very and they're, dark and, they're... and moody lining. <laughs> 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 and they're married as well, so... Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 and I was upset because I was like oh so we're not going to get the Andrade Ray match then oh, oh big f- blow off oh yeah true but wait uh, Ray oh, Mysterio yeah. showed up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ray Mysterio showed up yay and then Lars Sullivan beat him up yes. the legend killer yeah he's on one yeah, he's, he I'm is. quite enjoying this Lars Sullivan stuff to be fair mm. pleased to see him Oh. There's one point in Corey Graves, I can't remember which show it was on, but he go, look at that skull. Just like his massive like, skull. Corey likes his big head. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would not. Um, last one. The Usos defeated Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, and those of you with, with eyes may have noticed that they gave away who it was before anyone else. And you can even hear the crowd go, ah. Uh, <laughs> here on the screen. Yeah, Sean Usos. Michaels just goes, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't realise that the, the live crowd could also see it. But apparently so. Like it was on the screen. I didn't think they could either until the groan kicked I in. I didn't hear the groan. And then Chad, they had to have the backs of the thing and they were like, well, we're open challenge to yeah. whoever. And, All right, is it? Oh, dear. They were like, my God, the Usos. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably oh, good for the Usos no. to change brands because they've, what's up? I'll do it next week for the Hall of Fame. I had a Hall of Fame pick involving tag teams, but I'll do it next week. I've just remembered there because we're talking about tag teams. Carry on, sorry. Oh, the tag team of Pink and Avril. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good for the Usos because they've been great on SmackDown, but they have been treading water with the exact same opponents. Yeah. They might win the tag titles in two seconds, which shouldn't be technically possible, but I think they'll manage it given the Raw roster. Say what, the Usos versus the Viking experience could, is going to be a hell of a match if it happens. It will be if the Viking experience are actually gone to Raw. Well, I think they have. They are, yeah, they are. They have. They're officially they listed on, the... on WWE.com. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. yeah. So normally they did the big graphic, like, look who's gone, and they weren't there. So I'm like, oh, did that come on after... They appeared. Yeah. Oh, I never it, noticed it was, that. Yeah, it was way after. So I was like, they were just there. The one where Eric Young was just there. Uh. And also, Eric Young, <laughs> like Joseph Connors. Uh. <laughs> Someone said, was that a mistake? And they meant to put like EC3 on and just forgot what he looked like. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And I went, how dare you besmirch EC3? And then EC3 got a <laughs> murder to sand. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he got pillaged. Yeah. I, w- I hope we find out one day like what he's done. He's it, done something it's horrible. It's probably just for, for being Mr. TNA. You know what I mean? Do you reckon? Maybe. Yeah, we signed you just to mess with TNA. You know that, right? He says, oh, I, I know now. <laughs> My bad. Do you know when he beat Ambrose that week, randomly? It was Ambrose. I was nah. looking, like I think a couple of weeks ago, he's wrecked. He had six televised matches and he won three, lost three. I didn't realise that. I thought he just got got hammered every single time. Mm-hmm. It was like it, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, Do you remember when Alexa Bliss went, your cock's massive, Ethan? Yeah. That was great, that. That was it. Like, look, you're going to lose half your matches, but you got to miss... In kayfabe, you got a massive dick. <laughs> like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's Terry Bellow, isn't it? No, Hulk Hogan's got a massive dick. Hulk Hogan got a massive dick. Yeah. Terry's are smaller. Smaller than 11 inches. We'll give him a ring after this. Sami Zayn appeared on A Moment of Bliss and let the crowd go, oh, yeah, wee wee, super play. And then they were like, and then he went, ah, you're all right. And you knew it was coming, and the crowd like, now nah, I'll go play along. Mm. He's really good at the minute. Yep. Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure about the material they're giving him. I feel like it's a bit inconsistent week on week, because last week he just went, oh, I can't be bothered to talk to you. And this week he's going, it feels 
a little bit similar to Ambrose when they just couldn't pin down exactly what he, they wanted him to do as a heel. But mm. Sami Zayn's incredible at taking material and just improving it, mm. like he did in the Lashley feud that was just dreadful. Oh God! <laughs> but he he did. You but he tell, did his absolute yes. best, didn't he? And I think now that he's got slightly better material, it's coming across really, really well. Nice. And the hot crowd and everything. Interesting bit. Of, I think Mark Henry was backstage last week when he did his long promo, his return promo, and said it wasn't written for him. I well, so they just sent them out there and said, "Say how you feel, Sammy." Oh, you well, did. that's even more impressive. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so how you feel? This and the Luke Harper was like, "Can I get out as well?" <laughs> I felt like this week was more like Elias than Sammy Zayn. Like Elias yeah. is sort of like you know cheap, cheap heat Mm. easy stuff. It was cheap. It was cheap heat done very well. Mm. Expensive heat. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey and new tag partner Naomi. So fun backstage. Yeah. Uh, that's a, again probably had to step out of Sasha Banks probably really awkward defeated the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions the Iconics probably caused Sasha Banks to further <laughs> stay on the floor and go alright yeah well that they're not, not meaning much anyway that so happened yeah I don't yeah. know what to say about it uh, Braun Strowman chokes that yeah we done that Raw and Smackdown Women's Champion Becky Lynch defeated Ruby Riot. Mm. yep yeah, I think it's the right squad's place right now little did we like know this. that was the last night they were all going to be together Mm. Oh yeah, they've got shifted. One yeah. of the quiet ones on SmackDown, not good enough for TV. <laughs> so why did they do that? I don't understand. Because uh, it's three hours. I mean, got to fill it somehow. Mm. With, uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, Lacey Evans challenged Lynch to a Raw Women's Title match. I don't <sighs> mind. No, I don't mind it. You know. Oh no, hold, 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 hold. I like a cadence, me. It's very different anything we've heard from before, I think. Hey, y'all. But so, yeah, the me Southern... She's got, you got a classy yeah. Southern accent, though. It's yeah. not like a trailer park trash. No. Park. Yeah, you know what? Probably a lot of Southern Americans going, finally, <laughs> respectability. <laughs> Sat on their porch, <laughs> rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw! <laughs> no, 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 like the classy one, Southern. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, like, Sorry. The how, how dare we stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, where's the big map? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but the point, I, the, text the point I was making there doesn't feel like her promos are like written for her because she uses like little words like honey and stuff to make it flow together. Right. That's the analysis. Yeah, I'm they're like, can you there. southern this up a bit? <laughs> <laughs> can you add some grit? And yeah, she defeated Natalia to earn a Raw Women's Championship opportunity. I've just, I wish the sorry, time would go away. I've just remembered once, I'm sorry, at WCPW once I had to read out a note that was written by the GM Martin Kirby, but actually, I can't remember who wrote it, but it wasn't a Northern person, and they, I had to edit it to make it like sound authentic, because it was more like, I'm right, bastard, sick of this, and I was like, well, Kirby, <laughs> Kirby just doesn't sound like that, so no. Yeah. Did he even write in the E's? <laughs> <laughs> buy, get buy, heck. <laughs> Look, love. Um, <laughs> Yeah, at least she haven't seen Natalia. It Why didn't great. Natalia have to go and go, I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? In Montreal. Yeah. Canada. Because the crowd's oh. like, yeah, like, no, you're not. Yeah, you're it's just somebody else in it. The crowd didn't like Natalia. Like, you know, in the old UFCs, they used, people, uh, fighters used to get like big text on the back, like Caesar's Palace or whatever. Right. That's what Natalia is, but for, like the WWE Network also contains the Heart Foundation <laughs> and Bret Hart matches. That's all she is. She's just a, oh. a walking advert for old content. Bless her. Yeah, nice person. Seems but, like a nice woman, but yeah. just, yeah, when she appears on TV, I just don't understand. She Never. is Bret Hart's puppet. Thing is, they can make... <laughs> Karen. They can make Charlotte distinct from her dad. Why can't they do the same with Natalia? Yeah, yeah, sometimes they go five minutes without mentioning Ric Flair. You're right. <laughs> And Universal Champion Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and <gasps> the gay experience, question mark, exclamation mark, <laughs> AJ Styles. He went there. <laughs> defeated, he said it, defeated Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, and Bobby Lashley. Wow, how did they possibly beat this Saturday morning cartoon collection of villains? <laughs> it was kind of house showy, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 But I mean, he was like the Rob Superstar Shake Up. Yeah. The importance was AJ Styles is out. He's the new guy yeah. to replace. What? Roman Reigns. Yeah. Let's get that ahead. Um, yeah. No. I loved it when Kurt Angle was in the Shield that time. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, like it says the <coughs> Shields, like Last Ride or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. Network. And you go, wait a minute. Jason Jordan is presumably dead. Kurt Angle is retired. And Triple H, that one house show, is also not mm. wrestling anymore. As far as I know. Oh, no, wait, no. Batista That's going to kill Dean Ambrose brother. on Sunday. Yeah. The Shield's going to turn on him, shoot on him. Brothers, Ma. I just hate that though. Fastlane was the last match ever. We had Dean's last match ever on Raw last week or the week before, and now they're having one more. Oh, I thought, this was a, I thought this was a documentary. No, no, it's a, no, it's a live, live event. event. Yeah, is it? The Shield's yeah. last ride. 
I'll find I thought it was. Oh, I'm it sure it's just like a live event and they're going to have a Yeah, because I thought we had Dean Ambrose's last bat. Oh, I didn't know. Well, no, I'll well, find the card. <laughs> the, the card's not very complete at all, so just uh, talk oh. amongst yourselves. I just, it's breaking it's news here, Edgar. I keep Collins. lying to her. I just don't know how to go. I can't unlock my phone. I've done it. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's going to be awesome. We'll hot. carry on, shall we? Uh, as we're in content. Smackdown. A, the New Day anointed a new honorary group member on the Kevin Owens show. This and was class. By God, it's Kevin Owens. Fantastic. I, I, thought, I liked it. He reminded me so much of Mae Young when he was thrusting, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that same sort of, ooh, that Mae Young used to have back in the day. I <laughs> Sorry I had to do that in here. Cheers. <laughs> NLC, uh, Vincent Mann announced. Wait, there's more oh. talk about this Kevin Owens thing. Oh, God, please oh, do. I'd like to elaborate on it further. I like the backstage bit where he had to eat all the pancakes. That was funny. Heel Kevin Owens doesn't like pancakes and breakfast food, but babyface Kevin Owens <laughs> right. does. Yeah. That's the difference there. <clears throat> and someone pointed out, like, hang on, Kevin Owens is a large, athletic person. He knows what pancake is. And someone pointed out, ah, ah, he'll know none of those crepes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I liked I liked the tension because it's Kevin Owens so all the way through I was like when's he gonna smack right. him when's he just didn't he's just a nice man now yeah because it was like he came back and he sort of was a bad guy because Vincent Mann replaced him and he was just like are you waiting yeah. for has that been yet okay I'm still all waiting right. for it to happen though alright Vincent Mann obviously hyped up that there was the biggest signing ever biggest thing they hit Smackdown and obviously <coughs> Finn Balor came out with his massive Intercontinental title belt, <laughs> um, and defeated Ali, who I'd forgotten about. He's been busy a few weeks, and he's just a dude. And surprisingly, the IC champion won a match. Yeah, but Ali looked class in it. He mm. did. Yeah, yeah. That was a good match. He's really, really good. Right. Charles Flair defeated Carmella. What did she say? Here we are again for or something. Tables turn now. I was like... Because that's when she cast in, didn't she, Carmella, last year on Charlotte? Was Charlotte cashing in something? I don't know. I didn't really get it. But fair enough. She was on top, I guess. Yeah. And I like, I know, it's a little sprinkle of character, isn't it? Mm. I suppose. Fair enough. I think Charlotte likes to shout things in matches, and some of them make sense, some of them don't. Not like Drew McIntyre. That's right. the one thing I don't like about Drew, is just how much he shouts at somebody yeah. in a match. You're not worth it anymore. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> Here's the plot of the match. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't hear him saying it because the commentators are t- telling the plot of the match. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Charlotte just shouts, you know, in perfect Scottish, you know, my dad's Rick. <laughs> At the start, she just goes, I hate Canada. I really hate Canada. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> like... <laughs> By the way, in case you were thinking of cheering me, you'd be like, no, you're all right. <laughs> when Charlotte shouts, it's just a shouting voice. She sounds so drunk. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I hate Canada. <laughs> so, I hate you guys. It's like, don't worry, that, that ship sailed. You're not getting cheered. Um, Lars Sullivan then attacked our truth The legend killer continues. <laughs> yeah, Former NWA right. World Heavyweight Champion. Exactly. So he's attacked Kurt, the Hardys, Ray, Ray and, our, and former NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ron Killing. So that's fair yeah. enough, yeah. Just can't handle the truth. <laughs> uh, Paige revealed SmackDown Live's newest tag team. I got there. Thank you. <laughs> Asuka and Kairi Sane. He, he beat about truth. Kairi uh, Sane. Yes. Kairi I'm getting the pronunciation correct. Kairi Sane. Probably not. Kairi Sane. Kairi oh, Sane. my God, I got it right. I saw Kairi that. Hojo, if you want to. Someone put a bloody name. thing on, Insta- on Twitter this week that was like, it's the anime experience with those two on there. Because uh, all the people of different the... nationalities are going to stick together. <laughs> yeah, uh, why did they have to mm. pay? Yeah, but you know what? She's on the main roster. And That's the important thing. At least she kept all of her things. Yeah. Yes. And and big ass elbow. And there's time for her to get in a title match by WrestleMania 36 and that pirate ship. Exactly. Really want that. That's it. The hype starts now. Yeah. Nice to see Paige as well. Unfired yeah. unjustly just because Baron Corbin wasn't very good at his job in the kayfabe sense. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And Shane... She's going to get sacked for that as well. <laughs> Shane was like, sorry, Paige, you've been class, but we're the authority now. Yeah. 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 Well, we're not there. The fans of the authority were... Yeah. The surrogate mothers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do have the card, by the way, for the Shield's final chapter. Oh, card, please, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. So we've got the Shield uh, versus to be announced in a six-man tag. I reckon okay, it will be. Okay, let me go on. Drew Baron Corbin, and maybe Bobby Lashley. Um, maybe. And then Finn Balor versus to be announced also. Those are the two matches <laughs> that are on the thing. Baron Corbin. <laughs> uh, yeah, and of note here, Bailey just got booed. I don't know if she, I don't know. I was like, oh, maybe it's because she says I'm on my own now, not about you know Sasha. 
But no, they started booing her as she came out. Yeah. As she existed, they booed her. Unless Montreal's just like the biggest Ember Moon fans ever. No, right. like, oh, you kind of come out now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for her. Because yeah. in the UK, she's really over. Everyone, hey, hey, Bailey, ooh, ah. I want to know. Yeah. And when, Side to the left. And when she's in the UK, you can tell that when she's cutting promos and stuff, she feels a lot more comfortable. She's just loving it. And and then Bailey's sort of seems like the sort of promo where if it's going badly, she kind of panics a little bit. I would as well, obviously. I'm not saying like. I think people have been so critical of Bailey's promos because that's her character, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. She's not gonna go. I'm Bailey and I'm the <laughs> best and I'm gonna wreck your house and I'm it's gonna. It's Bailey, bitch. I'm gonna <laughs> smash your pasty. She's supposed to be this like this nervous, like oh hi, I'm a bit of a fan girl, whatever. Yeah. Thing, but I can snap and do that. But yeah. then everyone's like jumping on her throat because she's. She, yeah, she's not the Bailey warrior. It didn't help because the other there was like, in the build up to WrestleMania. Do you remember when Ronda did a promo and just completely just didn't like she just lost it kind of. She just didn't know what she was doing really. So they sent out Bailey early to cut her off, and Bailey had to improvise. And she was like, "That's right, you beat Sasha Banks recently. One half of the boss and her connection. I'm the other half. That's right, Bailey." And there was just a pause, and it was like, "Oh God!" Like it was really awkward. I feel like doing an improv class. All right, we're walking into a shop. Like, <laughs> so in this one, it, 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 it reminded me of that because yeah. Becky was like, "Do you want a hug or something?" And she was like, "I'm all right, actually, for the hugs, thank you." Or something like that. I was like, "Oh, just be a bit cooler," but you know. Yeah, I think maybe it's the NXT curse. NXT, that character works, gets time to flesh out, and you get it. On Raw, it's like, "Who's this crap girl?" Uh, <laughs> just that's how it translates to most people. And it's funny because like Montreal, it's funny seeing different countries and areas not like certain guys because I'm not sure it's just specifically Montreal or Canada in general. They would hate Shamrock and Goldberg uh, whenever they came out or came up to that area, but they would always cheer Hogan. Really, Canada has always cheered Hogan. <laughs> WrestleMania six, brother. Right, yeah. I think that's why. But yeah. like, you go Shamrock's supposed to, uh, Goldberg's supposed to be the good guys. Always get booed up, up, upstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> yeah, that's what call it. <laughs> North, North Mexico. And what else happened on this amazing SmackDown? Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Kevin Owens defeated Cesaro, Nakamura, and Rusev. Right. They call themselves the Bads. Um, <laughs> the Bads? It was just, just a match. We're expecting Kevin Owens to turn. He didn't. No, he didn't. He danced and everything. Yeah, looked good. Shout out his family in the front row. <laughs> oh, no, well, they loved him. Vince is looking on the TV backstage at the match, like them dancing in the ring. <laughs> Kevin Owens tweets, I hope, at Vince McMahon, I hope you dream about this every night for the rest <laughs> of your life. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. McMahon revealed the biggest acquisition in SmackDown Live history. It was Elias. And you're like, oh, okay. So yeah. it was Elias? Yeah, and that was the end of the show. Yep. <laughs> oh, and then Roman Reigns came out. And punched, okay. and punched an old man. And it was old weird. man in the It was face. weird when he did it in 2015, and it's weirder now because yeah. he's older. It was fantastic, though. He flopped down at Elias' arms, and Elias was just creating them like a little baby. <laughs> yeah. When you watch it, because Big Dick Tubbs out there was watching it in slow motion to get a nice screen grab for a thumbnail. Mm. Vince's face when the punch is coming down is unbelievable. <laughs> He might not know oh, what he's. Yeah. Oh. He might not know oh. what he's saying these days. He, he's still got it as Vince. I think Vince. He's gonna punch him so hard and start talking sense. <laughs> I think Vince is like one of the most yeah. underrated wrestlers yeah. of all time. Like he's had some class matches. Yeah. Shane. Hogan. Hogan. Flair. Flair was the all right one. Yeah. Michaels. I, yeah, I'll give him that. He's he, Vince is. Do you yeah. know what Vince is a good wrestler. It's the shot of him. Is it the Michaels match where he's like peeking yeah. over the, the Hogan match? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Evil man with the pipe. Mm. Like, and on NXT, no, no, two or five live. Stephanie, there's another good one. Good when wrestler. Lin- when Linda threw in the towel. No, a good Vince match. Oh yeah, right. When he choked, oh, his, when God, he choked his daughter. Yeah, he's the gonna pipe. kill his daughter with a lead pipe. I think that was weird because it was the creepiest build to a match <coughs> I've ever seen. But it was a good match, yeah. like against all odds. Oh, Linda threw in the towel, ruined it. She st- she sat up. <laughs> uh, I love Vince McMahon. I'm glad. Uh, two or five live. Except but- when he's naming Vikings. No. The McMahon experience. Yeah. Uh, what else? I'm... Oh, Wonny Lawkins had a shave. Wonny? Yeah, good old Wonny. Oh, Wonny and And he looks yeah. just like Sam Dingle. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Well, from Emmerdale. That's right. He's almost as Sam Dingle. He didn't used to be, but now he's just, <laughs> it's just his face. It's like, oh. Because Sam Dingle's very gormless, isn't he? But I think he puts that on. 
What was Big Daddy Dingle called? Zach. Zach. Zach Dingle. That was the, the bray of the family. Is he still in there? <laughs> he is. His, his beard's white <laughs> now, so it's like friggin' Santa Claus. <laughs> What's the start of the Emmerdale theme tune? Because all I can say... <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, all I could, all I could <laughs> think was... Um, <laughs> all I could think was... <laughs> <laughs> What's the best sub theme? Heartbeat. <laughs> Heartbeat's a good one. I do. Brookside is the best sub theme. Is oh, it, on, I, the yeah, theme? I agree with that. Listen do, to the Brookside. Do, 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 must have been a teenager. He's just in the toilets getting like beaten up by two women. Oh, Jesus. That just scarred me when I was oh, a kid. That is a terrifying image. Yeah. yeah. It's like, Ryan Satin, I've told you, stop tweeting. <laughs> um, I wonder if Owen knows about Brookside, because he's from Liverpool. Of course he does. Well, he's young, though, isn't he? Liverpool, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, but he, he, he's young. They're brought up on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when people go to class in oh, school. Did you, did you just watch Biker Grove? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we did. <laughs> Everyone knows someone who's been in Biker Grove. Right. I don't. Do you not? Well, no, I, well I'm a part of Dead and Dunk. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're my friends. I'll watch the episode of Brookside to completely derail this again, where they go, oh, there's a lump there in the garden. Oh, they find the body in the hand. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's a hood. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that episode. It was like, whoa. <laughs> watch out, lad. It's a hand. He. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he appear in ICW? The, the bald guy. I forget their names. Oh, uh, yeah. He appeared, um, he appeared in ICW. Didn't and uh, my dad told the story that they said, don't call me guy, Don't call me the guy from Brookside. So said, all right. Push him out. Please welcome the guy from Brookside. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else would you call him? <laughs> For many Americans, listen, we're not talking about Robbie Brookside, although he is also from Liverpool. That's where he got the name. Oh, uh, right. is it? It's no. Got, it's no. got to be. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> it's a crime that Owen won't come on camera because, like, I love the Scouse accent. It's hilarious. Owen, Owen's isn't this hot. I, will, I live with a proper dirty Scouser at uni. Like, a, I mean, in terms of the accent. He was a nice man. <laughs> Owen's yeah, is quite quite know. reserved, quite posh. Owen's got kind of a milder, yeah, calm scar. More like Chester. Mm. Like Michael Owen. Yeah. No. No. Not at all. No. <laughs> yeah. I uh, saw so Only Logan. Only Logan <laughs> looks like another Brookside. niche UK reference for you Yanks enjoying this. And if there are any Yanks still listening, <laughs> jokes on you. This is how we feel watching WWE. Yeah, exactly. Shove your SNL presenters up your dirty ass. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I liked Colin. In the end, shove one of the SNL uh, presenters up your ass. Colin's ass. voice is Cody Rhodes's voice. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, and he's, he's actually <laughs> out, yeah, he's actually married. Oh, going out with or whatever. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. I Google this just to verify. But he's a good-looking man. Oh, he's, not, he's not that tier though. Right. Yeah, I mean, nowhere. He's punching there. Good see? for him. I liked Colin, and I liked his Cody Rhodes he must voice. Be like a tripod. Like, Braun, you have to calm down. It just sounded like Cody. It was amazing. Oh. Where are we at? <laughs> um, right, yeah. Two or five. Uh, live. Yeah, uh, um, NXT stuff happened. I've was that a good yet. match? That two or five live main event. It was only in yeah, Cedric, right? Uh, NXT. Uh, oh yeah, that was alright. And yeah. Oh NXT UK. They're still doing the tapings from that mammoth when worlds collide sesh. Yeah. So they they they, they had that it was the cruiserweights versus the UK sort of thing. Yeah. So Legero won a three way. Really? Yeah, he beat. HCH oh, that was a different one. And, oh right. So yeah, you're talking about right. the Harper one. The one with Harper beat Dijak. No, the other. God, God, how much <laughs> time do they other? do, right? No, NXT UK this week was oh, that. Just I mean, the NXT UK. There was also the When Worlds Collide Part 1 and When Worlds Collide Part yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. um, Amir Jordan and Kenny Williams won by count out. Yes. But they beat the tag champs. Right. We're going to get them. No, nah, they're not going to win the belts, I don't think. Do you so, not think so? No. Oh, I think so. I want them to, but I don't think they're going to. Oh, that attitude they won't. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But I'm happy with them looking good. They can do, then, they can do the... Yeah, I was going to say, like, last time we brought them up, oh, getting buried. Like, no, you're going to win the titles. I love you. We weren't burying you, Amir. Promise. Yeah. But he did he come was. over and go, I actually can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for not getting wrestling after all these years. <coughs> and did that else happen on NXT? It was just a good app. Not ep. really, yeah. Um, it looks like, like Joe Coffey's getting another push. Yay. Yeah. Um, And I guess maybe we'll get him versus Walder once Walder's beaten Pete Dunne again. What happened on Real NXT? Not Real, real NXT. <laughs> Buddy Murphy came back to a hero's That's reception. Right. Mm. That's all I've seen, though. Yep. And he had a Dream and a very good match. Oh, and match. there was a heartbreaking scene with Kyrie and Io. Yes. Right. I forget her name. I'll, see, I wanted someone else to bring it up because I would only mess up the name. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was going to lead to a match between the two, but obviously now Kyrie's been called her. Mm. Right. Right. I'm assuming we'll get the match one day on the main roster. 
in the pirate ship. Yes. Yes. I want that. Oh, if they don't use the pirate, they've got it. They've got to use the pirate ship. They do the ring back. Shane's further. jumping off the top of the pirate ship. Every year, no, Shane's though... going to kick him off. <laughs> do you think um, they'll bring back Birchall? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crap. I think they might bring him back. What How about we just get one of the two thousand wrestlers we have in the contract and give him an eye patch? They might bring back. Or PCO. <laughs> Oh my god! He would actually jump off the top of that. Oh, he he get up on the deck. Just... <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> I'm alright. Two count. <laughs> Give me Canadian destroyer. Anyway, yeah, let's end it there because it's a bit dying on the toss. Unless there's a new person. Um, to um, Fight Club no, Pros already... this weekend. Oh yeah, <coughs> um, DTTI. Yeah. Dream Tag Team Invitational. Mm. Fair enough. Um, oh yeah, got quite a stack. Got Ospreys there. Aye. Yeah. Pack. Yeah. That's all you need. Fair play. Let's have a run in our mail bags. <laughs> British Telly podcast. And I'm talking about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and now questions from our mail bag. B- uh, m- mail bag. Question That's got a one. good impression of impressionist Carl Halbert. Carl Halbert. Halbert, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Well done. Shout out again to Carl. Love giving Thank him a you, shout Carl. out. Cheers, Carl. Uh, hello, gents. My name is Eric. Oh, my name is. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we've ripped on Eric so much. This week, we all had a good laugh at the name The Viking Experience. I bet you did. A lot of people also had a good laugh at the name Eric with a K on the end. I'm so sorry. Maybe it sounds silly because we've known him as Ro, but I submit that if we had not known War Machine slash War Raiders before now, and they just debuted this Monday. Eric would sound quite fitting, given the Viking gimmick. Right. My question is, if a wrestler debuted with only your first name, what would be a fitting gimmick for them? Love your work, not salty at all. <laughs> you are. Sincerely, the Eric experience, <laughs> Eric Lowell. Well, he's taking a good spirit. Cheers, Eric. I didn't even realize that his name would be changed to Eric until... Because everyone's about the freaking Viking experience. Eric's all right. Michael Eva. Cole. <laughs> Ricochet gets in the ring and he goes, here comes Eric. I mean Ricochet. What? Yeah, oh yeah, no, that <laughs> what? Easy mistake to make. It was, it was, a, it was a good week for all. God. What? Here comes Eric. Ricochet. I mean Ricochet. Bro. Twice the size of him, he's covered in tanning. <laughs> he's not even a Viking. Uh, so, what is the question? If a wrestler debuted with only your first name, so Ross, Jack, and Matthew, what would be a fitting gimmick for them? What, just on the Yours would be biblical. Name? I was going to, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Follow me and everything is well, yours all right. Yours would actually be like math, like a like what, like a like a religious cult leader. We'll be the, the four. We'll do the that. I got, <laughs> I've got Mark, Luke, and John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gospel. Exactly. Cult, yes. The gospel experience. The, yeah. <laughs> and I the, finish, the gospel <laughs> truth. Yes. For the three count. Because media would be a snap there. Nah, it wouldn't be that complicated. It's called the Bible experience or something. Like yeah. the Bible, the Bible. We're going to bash you like a Bible. <laughs> the there you go. God, Done. lads. The God. <laughs> Church friends. I can't believe God had a match in WWE. And Vince beat him. Oh, God. God is nil and one. He's the talking United of biblical characters. <laughs> Just how God had an entrance. What if God was one of us? Vinnie Mac and pin him. One, two, three. Before we offend anyone, anyone else. Jack would be a mechanic, wouldn't he? That would be a mechanic gimmick. Oh. Car Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Car Jack. Like car, yeah, car. yeah. It's like a stable with like heavy machinery. And- yeah. That's right. And he'd just be like, he'd come out a real man's man. Yeah. What about Ross? I've got no idea, so he can fill in the gaps here. Yeah. Fun fact. I think it says Fort, you know, Fort Bayard. Yeah. Uh, the, are the midgets called Jack? The dwarf is called Jack. Sorry. The offensive person. Um, Sorry. The guy would, when Dirty... Who was it? Den. Dirty, Den. Dirty Den. I was called him Dirty Dan then. That's his brother. <laughs> Dirty Den would go, ah, let, let's go on to the final challenge. Is that from SpongeBob or is it from somewhere else? I, don't know who that, I was watching Dirty. that SpongeBob episode the other day where uh, the squirrel, I forget her name all Sandy. the time. Sandy. She's, uh, she's hibernating. She's having a big dream about Dirty Dan. Oh. And SpongeBob and Patrick break in and she wakes up and she thinks one of those is Dirty Dan. She attacks him. There's definitely a... Are you dirty, Dan? <laughs> There's definitely going to be a SpongeBob Sarah sponge Logan. posting page with all these dirty Dan. <laughs> all these UK people going, yay. All these guys going, what is this? Sarah like Logan's podcast. just Sandy, I've just realised. There we go. Her promo was on Reddit today. Again, that one, the Game Eat one. Oh. The game Eat. Yeah. You fresh just to get you She was having a, a fight with her mouth and she was losing. Bless her. But anyway, he would go, Jack, the door. 
And my brother always thought that meant that Dole's name was Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, it was Gary. And then Ross. <coughs> I've got no idea because Ross is a, a Ross. very boring name. It's a versatile yeah. name because you got Ross from Friends. Right. Ross can sound various. There's no stereotype. So I would be a, a womanizer. <laughs> womanizer. Oh, woman. like <laughs> Ross. Like Ross from Friends? Yeah. Yeah, are you not on Ross's side? Oh, I think he's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Me too, yeah. I'm, I'm all, about, all about Chandler, me. Mm. Chandler's a good lad. Go for a coffee with Chandler. Down Not a boy. Perk. Yeah. That's um, an American TV reference there. Oh, no. We'll have to edit that out. <laughs> People know what we're talking about. Uh, Ross is a bit of a crap name to link the stuff in it. Rossage the Sausage. I was named Ross because it can't be shortened. Because my mum was like, I don't want a, nick- a name where it can be shortened into a nickname. So I would go to football and I'd be called Rossa or Roscoe or Rossi. <laughs> and that would annoy the piss out of me, man. <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> yeah. Why that's, you, that's the only reason I was called Ross. Oh, I'm, that that's why W's never hired you. You can't shorten your name. <laughs> why why did she get annoyed? Because she I don't know, she just doesn't like nicknames, I guess. Alright, fair enough. She still, uh, well she was well guy, I can't see it. <laughs> oh you get looking too old. Oh, oh right, right. Actually, I, oh. oh hey. Fantastic. I but I that's... not not really a trade link to my name, is there? Oh well. Ross. Shame. You but you found be... you you made one. <laughs> now it, wrestling. Clown. <laughs> Famous <laughs> TV wrestling clown. <laughs> hey, did the <little> experience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The other night, I had a dream about EC3. Oh, well, got lots in common. Well, revealed well, himself, <laughs> <laughs> revealed <laughs> himself <laughs> to <laughs> secretly be Velveteen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have to start this again. The other night, I had a dream about EC3, where he revealed himself to secretly be Velveteen Dream. What? Like Mission Impossible style. <laughs> like It's going to have to be... Hell of a... <laughs> he what? He suited down the suited, s o o d e r e d suited down the ramp, mimicking Dream's entrance perfectly, and it all made sense. Sense. Well done. And nobody it's like questioned Twin Peaks, it. This? I'm like really confused. <laughs> so my question for y'all is. Who in all of wrestling is secretly masquerading as another wrestler from any promotion? What? <laughs> Thanks, that's Cody in Tennessee. Cheers, mate. He's <laughs> killed, <laughs> killed Matthew there. <laughs> um, what, the, what? What is this? See, I think the Viking experience are secretly, you know, war machine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the ob- I mean, the obvious jokes. Are you all right? I'm, come on, I'm just going to roll with it and pretend. Well, the obvious, normal. the obvious jokes like Buddy Murphy is Kenny Omega, isn't it? Because he does. John Cena is Darren Young. You know heard this? <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's an old one. <laughs> you know heard this? Buddy Murphy just does a lot of Kenny Omega's moves. You know heard this before? No. If you squint, he sort of looks like him when he moves in the no. ring as well. Yeah, he does. You squint. He does V triggers all the time. Put yourself in the face. He does reverse. Like he does V triggers. He does reverse runners. He does. That might be it. <laughs> Maybe the only two. <laughs> Are you all right? What's going on? Mate, yeah. that's quick. You have to read it out. I'm like, oh, we got EC3 joking. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, what? EC3 is secretly Velveteen Dream. Why has that tickled you so much? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, it revealed it. It's easy. like, the it's idea just, of it is very funny. But it was me. a dream, though. It's not... I know, I know, but I love that people should share their... Th- we're like cheap therapy. For <laughs> um, what was I going with? Where were we going? Oh, yeah, I had one. Um... Kevin Owens is secretly uh, Tid the Panda from... <laughs> oh, yes. I watched that match finally. Oh, good is it? It's really good. That, that, the actual wrestler, I can't remember is her name. Tintin or Panda? Tintin's the, is, right. Tintin's the wife. Oh. Then the Oh, what's the male one called? I, I can't remember. Tintin's husband. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Tintin might be the man. I don't know which one's oh. which. But, Hang um, on, you're supposed to know the Japanese people's names. <laughs> which one's Kushida? Pandas are Chinese, mate. Or are they? Oh, no, I'm racist. Go on. Um, but yeah, I hate bears anyway. All oh. kinds. I hate them. Not like that. Upset not people, not like that. <laughs> um, but it was really good. She's really good. Her, the one who had to bump for the panda. She, you're not even taking this seriously, Matthew. I'll calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you know what something really gets you, and you just okay. Don't think about it. And all you can think of is. This. <laughs> it was no, me. Like, oh, my, my, there is no Velveteen Dream. It's just me. I totally get finding something funny, but that's like a four out of ten. Like humor. No offense. I, I uh, from mean, Tennessee. I can't. Really, but you know. No, I love you, Cody. Thank Cody. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number three. All right. Serious face. That's serious the question, face. Cody. Mate, you've, you've ruined the podcast. Serious face. Like you know, when I think Michael Collins got to the hospital with anal bleeding. That's serious face. All right. Hi guys. I was about to propose to my girlfriend when my roommate Joseph barged into the room out of nowhere. 
tripped and fell over, breaking a glass table with his face. <laughs> totally ruined the mood. <laughs> now I don't know Joseph that well. <laughs> don't, don't you remember? Can I read it out for you, please? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll be here all day if I try me. I'm sorry. Hi, guys. I was about to propose to my... Big shout out to Peter Austin, by the way. Oh, you got, you got engaged. Yeah, from the lad from video... Uh, from Triple Jim. I've forgotten our own, <laughs> oh, our own oh, channel's no. name. But yeah. Tintin. Peter's engaged now. Oh, to who? His girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> oh that's nice. <laughs> what? Um, hi guys, I was about to propose to my girlfriend when my roommate Joseph barged into the room out of nowhere, tripped and fell over, breaking a glass table with his face. Totally ruined the mood. Now, I don't know Joseph that well, don't even remember where he was from, but let's say I put my plans on hold to help him get through his injuries. Joseph had gotten a big glass shard in his eye, making him completely blind in that eye. He was walking around with one of those big cotton pads on his eye for a couple of months. Then suddenly... Then suddenly he disappeared, along with my girlfriend. Apparently they'd bonded during the... <laughs> Appar- <laughs> Apparently they'd bonded during the time after his injuries and eloped together, leaving me behind without as much as a note. I tried to track them down, but never could. In conclusion... God say, Do you know where this is going? Go on, go on. In conclusion, if it hadn't been for Joe with his cotton eye, I'd have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh. Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> that's from, and that's from Beans McQueen's from <laughs> <laughs> from parts unknown. Keep up the solid podcasting, homies. Right, cheers for that. Beans, wait, wait, Beans McQueen. Wait, wait, is there a question? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we? Uh, should we, should we do a, <laughs> a mailbag at cultaholic.com oh, if you want to ask a question? Right, let's do um, well, it's Reese's let's Pieces. Let's do Reese's yeah. Pieces. Oh, it's a cool. Reese's Pieces, 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 Reese's Pieces. And I want to do the still called Reese's Pieces with a threat of a lawsuit. He emailed this week and he just said, no, oh, he's not going to sue. Oh, so. good. Our, our lawyer's got to him first. <laughs> I feel, and I know I was on the podcast when this first happened, but I feel like I've missed an episode of like a series and I just don't know what any of this means. I'm so confused by so this whole this lawsuit guy, I thing. think this guy, <laughs> previously on Cultaholic, oh. claimed to own the rights to the name Reese because he called his three-year-old son right. Reese. <coughs> and and we what? started calling this Reese's Pieces because he asked the first question, I think. And that wasn't the guy. Yeah, but I didn't name it after his three was... old son, like a creep. <laughs> he, put, he put Reese. I remembered Reese because, oh, Easton Reese. Right. But it was a guy, but it was a different guy from the guy who actually wrote this jingle. The jingle's just the guy who wrote the jingle. Right, fair enough. He's just a jingle man. Pieces. He did yeah. the jingle for the big question as well. Yeah. He's a serial jingler. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, jinglers. Do I call The jingle experience. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that, is that joke dead yet or not? <laughs> anyway, the important bit of this is this first bit getting this way in the podcast is we have given it two wrestlers and basically we have to decide who's the best out of both of them. And let's go through the list. Let's pick Zach Wright's choice of Matt or Jeff Hardy. Ooh. Oof, that's a good one. Yeah, bastard. Yeah, bastard, bastard. Do you want, who wants to go first? I'll do that. Go ahead. I'm going to go for Matt. Because really? he was nice to us, <laughs> and oh. also that's reason. The Especially first. after you guys crapped on him, that was me. Oh, okay. Ross, it Ross liked me. it. I was a fan. Ross I liked in that video. I came in late that day. <laughs> Ross liked the final deletion. <laughs> I hated it, and then they booked him, and I felt very awkward. <laughs> but he was a nice blow. So that's the issue when you're in a wrestling promotion. No, like, okay, that Com- <laughs> compromised our integrity as critics, you might say. <laughs> but um, but I liked him. He was a nice guy, and also as a child. I think I've told this story before. Um, I used to go around my mate Marks, he had SmackDown too. Um, and he always, like, we always would play as the Hardy Boys, but he never let me be Jeff. I had to be Matt. Um, so that's why I prefer Matt, because I always had to be him. That's why I originally started to prefer Matt as a child. Okay, and then I was like, well, can't I be Jeff once? And Mark would be like, no, because you don't know how to do the Swanton Bomb. And I was like, well, tell me how. And he was like, oh, it's too complicated. Nah. <laughs> this is probably like six-year-old. Like, right. <laughs> this is, hang on, you can use this pad. It's the uh, knockoff, the yeah. party one. So he always made me be Matt. But in hindsight, cheers, Mark, because I prefer Matt now, actually. And I got my ear bit off by him. So who's laughing now? What? Do you remember this? He dro- Joseph Connors. After I, no. After I crapped all over that angle... I got added to the angle, 
at one of the WCPW shows. Oh, oh, God. I thought you meant the lad you played games with, bit your ear off or something. <laughs> no, Matt Hardy bit my oh, ear off. Oh, that's that's normal. All right, now I get it. Okay, I'm back up to speed. I'm going to say, up until the point where he did the final deletion stuff, I would have said Jeff, but, but just because of the longevity Matt's had and right. the fact that he's more versatile than Jeff, I'm going to go with Matt as well to be really boring and kill this, so right. hopefully you pick someone else. Um, oh, no. Because, oh, right. oh, okay. <laughs> like, you, yeah, Jeff's the guy that you like as a kid because he's like, oh, I've got the cool hair, he's got women's clothing on for some reason, but he's making it work. <laughs> He's diving off a building. He's yeah. completely wrecked himself. He does that and hand gestures. Are and then, cool and then Matt child. does like twist of fate. You're like, oh wait, Matt, he's doing all the work. Yeah. But then you look back. Matt's been able to readjust. He was V1. V1 is the best. I love V1. That's the main. Re that's the actual oh, reason. Yeah. From oh yeah. Matt fact. Genius. Matt fact. Matt Shh. strongly dislikes mustard. I could spank a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink my own semen. Yeah. <laughs> He brought back. But I live for too much. Sorry. He brought back the mustard thing a decade later when he was doing the final deletion. He was like, yeah. I strongly dislike mustard. Everyone yeah. was like, It's from when you. I were... strongly dislike mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Moe was great in that as well. Yeah, Being and um, the MFA. Yes, the MFA. That's right. My and, uh, follower. <laughs> very briefly, Crash Holly. Was he? Yeah, just oh, so Taz God, could, I. Just go Taz could bury him on commentary for some reason oh, and be right. like, Oh, Crash Holly lives in a. I remember for some reason the bits you remember on commentary he's like oh Crash Holly he lives with like three dogs uh, four cats and five parrots his house is basically a zoo he must smell <laughs> <laughs> get in Taz mate yeah not no disrespect to Crash Holly yeah. um, or, or his you know animals the, yeah so I think because Matt's be able to change and change and change, and change. Jeff will always have fans Jeff will be 50 years old and doing a swan on off a stair lift yeah um and people still getting nuts for him because he's that guy. But Matt's had to, I don't know, maybe because he's not willing to dive off the of cages. <laughs> he's had to rejuvenate himself. And I think, wow, respect for that. Yeah. And again, uh, the final deletion and everything else. I mean, yeah. Come on. You've said everything I was going to say. Oh, I was about. never on, I, I'm obviously not Jeff Hardy's target market, but I was never on board with Jeff Hardy. Really? Even as even a kid, you didn't even like, him. Like, I appreciate the, the gnarly moves, man, and whatnot. Right. But I never got on board with like the, the clothes or the, the glow in the dark stuff or the hair or the. There's no photos of you with the stockings on your... There is, actually. I put one on Instagram the other day where... What magazine was it where you used to, they used to get kids to send in their wrestling collections? And they'll put the picture in the magazine? Oh, I know. Because uh, I tried to do that, but failed with me pal. And there's a picture... Was it wrestling of me. magazine? It was some wrestling magazine. Yeah, well, the wrestling did that. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be in that one then. Wait, there's a About picture of you in... Uh, from like 2000, is there? 2002. I've got some of those old Wait, issues. so it didn't get published? Wait, didn't get published. Oh. No, but I put it on Instagram. It's devastated. Have a look. But, um, I. Are you mad, Jeff? I'm doing the Hardy Boys thing. <laughs> That's, very That's unreal. Sorry for that. Wow. So I think I'm nine there, maybe? God, that was a lot of stuff. Which one are you? Right, top, left. Wait. Right, top, left. Thanks. 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 You want the shorts? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Aye. Right. We'll have to put that on screen now, I guess, for it to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not, they're not saying anything. <laughs> But I, I'm doing the Hardy Boy pose there for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd never was on board with Jeff. And obviously, version one, and then the broken stuff, that's what edges it for me. And mm. he also burned down a house to kill a dog. Yes. You could say that Jeff's had... You could say that Jeff's <laughs> to had, kill a dog. <laughs> if we're talking about, like, qu quality of, like, matches, Jeff's had a better history of matches, like the match against Punk at some Oh, the entire Punk series is amazing. Yeah. The Triple H feud, where yeah. he gradually got that little Undertaker bit match. The Orton series, match. yeah. I mean, oh, well. Yeah, so Jeff's had better opinion. matches, but I prefer Matt. Also, I'm an mm. older brother, so I relate more, you know? You don't want the little brother to get all the glory, do you? Yeah, you're right. Almost. Yeah, you're right, exactly right. Are we yeah, all older forever. brothers? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> We've all voted for Matt. <laughs> <coughs> all right. That's that settled then. Yeah, it's right. the best Hardy is officially Matt. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Call Hardy the only podcast with Mattitude. <laughs> and if you'd like to submit anything for the questions, <laughs> or the daft stories disguised as questions, <laughs> or a Reese's Pieces entry, please send them to point someone. Mailbook at kutahelic.com. Yeah, I feel tired from laughing. I feel tired. Well, there's still one more bit again. It's Cultaholics. The question. Oh. Oh. And. And this week's big, big, big question is... <laughs> Break the wild's dune! Big. 
your favourite Shield memory, given the fact that they've gone the way of uh, too much and X Factor. <laughs> Did you know too much, by the way, has the same theme song as Karma, uh, aka The Godfather, when he's doing the MA thing? No. I only found that out recently. Wow. Isn't Definitely. that interesting? Yes. So The Shield. Any when they had the helicopter bit. That's mine. What? When they had the helicopter entrance in the UK. What? Do not remember when they had the helicopter? This. No. Unless it was a dream. Google rip the off shield. The, rip off the face Google of Peter. It was Velveteen Dream. The shield oh, helicopter. They did it before Charlotte Flair and before Ric Flair. What? <laughs> they made it cool. <laughs> the shield helicopter. Awesome. I'm sure it was in the UK. London, I think. Or is it Manchester? Into like the arena? No. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Right. I was Drive like, what, a helicopter into like, a building. No, but like, no, but like an open air, like a <laughs> stadium. Through the front door. No, no. Just... <laughs> oh yeah, the shield arrives at the London. <laughs> so it's sort of like a Mission Impossible one. Oh my God, it's right. Okay. Okay, cool. Really Such two. a great moment. I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, also, the breakup. That's that's probably the best. Which is a bit strange to say, but yeah. like, yeah. No, but you're right. They, they got built up so well over the years, and they were headlining the six man tags against Evolution, and then it was the that, timing. That mm. was the perfect timing. time to make. Rollins and Ambrose, the main event guys, and finally get some new stars that we've been needing for ages and ages because it was sick of Cena, Orton, etc. And then they went with Reigns. <laughs> but until that point, it was going really, really well. <laughs> I thought Ambrose was going to be the star. Yeah, watching that feud, you'd think he was the his, next thing. His promos were insane. He was so I'll good. get you, Rollins. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing if you're in the shops, if you're in the shower, in bed, I'll come get you. I meant like Shield Ambrose. Like During the oh. time of oh, the Shield, the but until they broke up, I thought that Ambrose was going to be the guy. I was yeah. like, oh. His bonnet and the shield used to do my head in. I know <laughs> it, it might have been back. the point when it was slipped back to try and annoy people, but it did my head in. Really? No, uh, I wasn't a fan. I thought you were going to say it annoyed you when it was all oh, messy. That's, that's the lunatic fringe. Well, that's true. Um, <laughs> I liked the debut. It's cool yep. to see. I, did, I wasn't watching wrestling at the time. Oh. Well, I was like half into it, half out. But um, but looking back, it's cool. Yeah, I remember like, well, that, that's, that's John Moxley. That's Tyler Black. And that's... <laughs> Some couch bro. It's oh Chris Hero. God. It's Chris Hero. He's looking amazing. <laughs> oh, it's not Chris Hero. Um, so at the time I was watching New Japan, I went, bloody hell, Luke Gallows is looking mint. It was Carl Anderson. Oh. Um, <laughs> bless him. But they, they had the TLC match at TLC yep. uh, against Ryback, Kane, and Brian. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a 2012 tag team. Isn't it? And yeah, just steamrolled them. Yeah. Everything from the foot stomp to... Just the strategy of, we're smart. That's our gimmick. So you all beat up Kane and then just beat up the other two. I really liked, awesome. it's not like a great match or anything, but I really liked them squashing the New Age Outlaws and Kane at WrestleMania 30. Right. And their entrance was cool. It's like, bye-bye, Attitude Era. Yeah. <laughs> it lasted like two minutes. That match was great. Related for Luke Abbott, the Wyatt family matches. Yes. Really good stuff as well. Including one was on the main event. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, they had an ocean chamber. I think two raw matches with a proper original three, and then yeah, main event had one. I think it's because it just restarted, and they do that <laughs> thing where they put a lot of cool stuff on the first few episodes, then just go, oh, whatever. Mm. Um, yeah, sorry. Money in the Bank 2016, when they all held a belt in one right. night, that was cool. I liked it, even though I was sad at the time because I was a huge Rollins fan around that time, mm. and I wanted him to keep it belt. But you know, that's fair. do you think it's almost good that it's it's going? Oh, it's gone. The Shield. Because, yeah. yeah, do you think it's had it had some moment? It was nice when they got together again. And it did boost the ratings up quite a bit, apparently, if I remember correctly. Because they fit. Whoa. I've seen Twitter. God, God they're, they're hot for Rollins. I've written fan fiction. About Rollins. How could you not? I'm called Ambrollins Reigns on Twitter. Ambrollins <laughs> 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 Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> it all flowed. It, was... <laughs> it flowed well in my head. It's clever at first. Ambrollins <laughs> Reigns. <laughs> you can spell it, but you can't say it. And... Uh, when Seth was asked recently about, I think he was doing F. Barry Kill, and Dean Ambrose was on there, and I don't know how it worked because he is in the Shield, so maybe he'll F himself. But he said, um, "Yeah, I'd, I'd get with Dean." <laughs> and Twitter so exploded. Like, yeah. <laughs> Take so number one, Seth so Rollins get the push of the one guy in Raw. Wait, he well picked done. Ambrose over Reigns. Is he all right? Why didn't we he just call this right. who's the fittest member of the Shield? <laughs> That's probably get more hits that way. <coughs> I would go Dean <coughs> Seth. No, Dean Roman Seth. I would go. If I really? To, uh, if I had to rank them in that term. I think Dean's dreaming. <laughs> Especially now he's come back looking like a hard bastard. Oof. Oh, oh. Dream Ambrose. But, you know, he would miss out on, like, ruining He's the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> <laughs> All along. But Rene must be missing out on, like, ruining her fingers through his hair and whatnot. 
Yeah. Especially with that gas mask on. <laughs> <laughs> We're quite like the shield, aren't we, boys? <laughs> anyway. Who's who? <laughs> Matthews Rollins. Oh, um, no. Yeah. Why? Because I'm always injured. I'm Ambrose. <laughs> you're Reigns. You're the big dog. Oh, I'll take the big dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're the push guy. That, that's definitely the order. <laughs> you have to move the audio for the cheers he gets. That's how that works. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which one of us is which member <laughs> oh, of the no. shield. God. <laughs> which fanfic guns were we? Oh, yeah. no. Uh, but, yeah. They were all right, weren't they? Aye. That's, that's the analysis like the, there. That's, that's it, that's the closer. Look. They were all right. About, as, about all right. as good as Brookside. Aye, they were kind of About <laughs> on the level as Brookside. No, I mean, if they came out of the Brookside theme, the Inheritance, please welcome do, do, for the last do, do, time do, do, The Shield. Do, 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 do. That's how they should go away. Eh? Yeah. Do you remember when the final Brooks side? Like, oh, yeah, and it just. The, the, the theme, like, they played it right from the start of the instrumental bit oh. when it fades. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. This is clean. Just this guy. We're taking the camera on that guy's look around Brooks side closed. It's like, that's where we powerbomb right back. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 that's where we buried the outlaws. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, this has been either the best or worst podcast ever. One of the two. You're from yeah. Liverpool, you're buzzing. Uh, you? Hi. Well, yeah. No change there. <laughs> But thank you very much for watching and enduring the Colotic Video Podcast. Oh, man. Uh, please send your questions to... Mailbag mm. Colotic. Oh. And if... <laughs> <laughs> for a beautiful stroke. Dot com. Mailbag at Colotic.com. And as always, you can get more features, more bang for your buck, so to speak, at... Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. Uh, this has been Ross on Wrestling. This has been Jack the Jobber. This has been Puppet Jack. Join, Join us. us. Oh, we we'll have to keep on doing this. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. You can follow Colorholic on Twitter at Colorholic, and you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Colorholic. If you enjoy what we do, you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Colorholic. Hit subscribe, and don't forget, join us. <laughs>